Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share a couple of clips from some of the videos that I posted last year in 2021. Now for those of you who have already seen them, I'm hoping that this will be a reminder of what God has already said to you. But for those who have not seen them or this is your first time visiting this channel, I certainly hope that you would take time to view them because I know that they will somehow be a blessing to you. Now, this first clip that I want to share is from a video that I posted on April the 25th. In this new year, God wants to bring in a new you. And in this video, I discuss the changes that's made in you when you become a new creation in Christ. The old you, the old attitudes, the old behaviors and ungodly desires are not a part of you anymore. The new you can take on behaviors that's becoming to Christ. So take a moment and watch this. When you become a new Christian, that old person is no longer you. You have been changed and you are transforming into the likeness of Christ. Peter tells us in that second chapter, he says to get rid of all evil behavior. He said, be done with all deceit. Be done with all hypocrisy, jealousy, and all unkind speech. Be done with that. That is no longer you. That is no longer your behavior. That's no longer what you walk in. That's no longer what you desire to be in. So get rid of that and walk into the new you. You are new. You are fresh. You are different. So let's accept that from Christ and start walking into the new you. How awesome is that? You are now a new creature. You have become transformed. You are renewed and you are refreshed. You now have a new life in Christ. During the process of transformation, God is going to show you the things that you need to change. If you ask him, he will show you things that, that you didn't even know was there. So I suggest that you don't be so quick to judge others and neglect the areas that you need to focus on in your own life. Matthew 7 and 5 says to first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly enough to remove the speck from your brother's eye. During this year, let's examine ourselves to make sure that there's nothing in our life that's not like Christ. I released this video on May the 23rd. So I want you to take a moment to watch it and I hope that you enjoy this short clip from Show Me, Me. In our spiritual life, we need to take examination of our own self. If you were to take an examination, would you pass it? Would you find something that's inside of you that shouldn't be there? And if you do, are you willing to take it out? We are good at finding fault and failures and flaws in someone else but we neglect to look at ourselves and get rid of those things in our lives. We sometimes seem to see the speck in another person's eye, but we can't see the beam that's in our own. God wants us to be whom he wants us to be, and we should have that same desire in us. How do we go about examining ourselves? See if our lives line up with the word. The word is what cleanses us. Whatever area you need your healing in, he sent his word to heal us. We want to say to God, show me me. Open up my eyes that I can see me. Help me to pay more attention to my actions, to my words, to what I do, what I say, my behaviors, help me to pay more attention to me so I can get myself in order and not to judge somebody else when they're out of order. It's a personal process. You can't really fix anybody else, especially if you've broken yourself. If I examine myself and if you take time to examine yourself, don't you think that that's a great place to start? In this next video, His Plan, His Promises, I teach how God's plan worked out for our lives, although we can't see the promises manifested yet. 
promises of blessings, of health, of hope, salvation, all of those deliverances, they have been given to us. But we haven't been shown yet the ups and downs of the journey or the pains and the sufferings that we have to go through, the map of all the turns and the detours and constructions that we encounter. But all those things are in his plan. So take a moment to watch this short clip from the video, His Plan, His Promises. He told us that he had a plan for us. His plan included peace. His plan included a good and expected end. Yes, God has promised to heal our land and he's promised to forgive us of our sins. He promised, and he is a God that does not lie. He promised to take us up out of this, and he is a God true to his word. He promised to show up when we need him. He promised. So we have to trust in his plan, even if we don't hear his voice. Even if we can't see it clearly, we have to hold on to the promises through through the good times and through the difficult times. The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and to lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Well, seeing those clips a reminder to you about what God wants to do for you or what he's actually expecting from you. Was this video a blessing? If it was, just leave me a comment. Let me ask you a question. What are you expecting God to do for you this year? I want you to be blessed this entire year. Expect great things from God. And as you walk through the new year, just keep walking in the way of Christ. He's gonna do it as long as you believe, and as long as you follow in the path of righteousness. Be blessed, and I will see you again next time.